morning students students as you already know we are doing chapter number 5 measurement and today we will solve sums of exercise 5.1 so let's start students you have already learned how to measure the length of a small things with the help of a scale and today we will discuss sums of exercise 5.1 and the first sum is complete the table with things given below students in this some things are given and we have to find out the estimated length and actual length of given things students estimated length is find out by observing the thing and actual length is find out by measuring the thing with the help of a scale students let's start first thing is comb observe this comb and estimate its length yes its estimated length can be approximately 18 cm to find out the actual length of a comb we have to measure the comb with the help of the scale now students its actual length is 19 cm now students second thing is book students observe this book and estimate its length yes its estimated length can be approximately 21 cm and to find out the actual length of a book we have to measure the book with the help of a scale now students its actual length is 20 cm now students next thing is spoon students observe this spoon and estimate its length yes its estimated length can be approximately 14 cm now students to find out the actual length of a spoon we have to measure the spoon with the help of a scale now students by measuring the spoon with the help of a scale its actual length is 16 cm now students next thing is key students observe this key and estimate its length yes its estimated length can be approximately 6 cm now students to find out its sexual length we have to measure this key with the help of a scale and its actual length is 6 cm now students our estimate is correct now students next thing is pencil students observe this pencil and estimate its length yes its estimated length can be approximately 16 cm now students to find out its actual length we have to measure the pencil with the help of a scale and its actual length is 14 cm now students we will discuss second sum find the distance between given dots and give the following answers students in this some dots are given a b c d and e we have to answer the following question by measuring the distance between these points so let's start the first question is distance from point a to b students in this question we have to find out the distance between a to b and we find this distance by measuring it with scale now students 
its distance is yes 4 cm so the answer of the first question is 4 cm now second question distance from point a to c students in this question we have to find out the distance between point a to c and we find this distance by measuring it with scale now its distance is yes 6 cm so the answer of the second question is 6 cm now next question distance from point c to e in this question we have to find out the distance from point c to e and we find this distance by measuring it with scale so the distance is 5 cm and the answer of this question is 5 cm now we will discuss one question later to pass what is the length of crayon in this question four options are given a 4 cm b 9 cm c 5 cm and d 6 cm now students look at the picture the length of crayon is 3 to 9 cm and tell how many cm are there in between 3 to 9 cm yes 6 cm so the option d is correct and we put a tick on option d now students it's time for homework in your homework you have to solve sum 1 and 2 of exercise 5.1 thank you